students welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will discuss uh, the system and network threads under this title we are going to see the worms port scanning denial of service and distributed denial of service and everything will come under fifth unit the system and network threads involves abuse of service and network connections Abuse of service means operating system service, operating system services and network connections. And the threads create, that is the system and network threads creates a situation which operating system resources and the user files are misused, misused by some third person, right? And this attack is used to launch the program attack or sometimes the program attack may la launch the network or system attack and the threats that is system and network threats includes bombs port scanning and denial of attacks so all these things will come under the system and network threats category only and it is important to note that the masquerading and replay attacks are also commonly launched over the network between the system okay so mass reading and replay attacks will be happened in between the uh, communication of two systems okay so here the mass reading and replay attack will be happened these attacks that is the mass reading and replay attacks are more effective and very harder to encounter when multiple systems are involved that is involved in a network suppose if it is a single network, computer then the operating system will take the entire control and if the sender changes its id uh, of someone else then the os can easily identify and that will record the changes okay but when more computers are involved or connected to the network then uh, suppose if this network uh, come under the control of attacker then tracing of this particular changing ID is very, very difficult. In the network, uh, that is more number of systems will be connected uh, in the network. Then these systems will be communicated to each other through message passing. And through messages, they can share the secrets. Okay, and the message will be first encrypted by using a secret key. Then the encrypted message will be transmitted from one place to the another place. That is sender to receiver. Right. And the sharing secret is easier in the environment. That is if entire system is using only single operating system. Okay. And we can easily implement the secure sharing method. Uh, so that we can easily keep the secret uh, safe right and these methods include sharing memory and inter-process communication when the network is uh, the system should be connected with different networks with different network then this environment will be very very difficult okay very difficult environment so uh, we have to protect our message secretly then in this environment we will face a lot of challenges the most important challenges we are facing here is that is in the network uh, and system threats are uh, the worms port scanning denial of service and distributed denial of service let us see all those things one by one the first one is worms it is a process that uses spawn mechanism to duplicate by itself that is the worms will copied uh, make a copies of itself by using the system resources hence it will lock out all the process all the computer processes that means the infected program will spread throughout the network throughout the network hence its main focus is to attack the local area network LAN means local area network okay on computer networks the worms are reproduced themselves among the system that shut down the entire network okay that is the same file will be copied more number of times multiple times hence it will occupy all the cpu time as well as the main memory hence the entire network will be shut down 
the worm actually attack the target system by writing a small program that will hook on it okay this is our target system from the infected system the attacker will send this hook program to the target system the user of this particular target system tries to download any of the file which are attached to these things once the user downloads the program then the hook will be attached to it so without the knowledge of the user of target program the hook will be copied into the target system right once the hook copied here it will send request to the infected system for this worm then the worm will be copied to the target system right once the worm is copied here then it will copy it will make multiple copies of itself hence the system resources will be fully occupied by the worm and uh, the entire system will get shut down that is it will lock out all the other processes of the entire network hence the entire network will be shut down the next one is port scanning it is not actually attack but uh, it crack to detect the systems vulnerabilities to attack okay systems vulnerabilities should be uh, taken care okay that is the systems will be connected to the internet and those are communicating to each other okay the port scanning is actually automated which involving tool to attempt create a tcp ip connection to specific port or range of port suppose if this is the system and the attacker try to collect the information that is secret information from the system that who are the other persons are in the network and they are sharing the information the secret information okay here the cracker could launch the port scanner try to connect of particular system or range of system okay from here they will scan the entire network okay if connection was successful then the cracker could attempt to communicate with the answering service okay if the service was sent mail so it was the version with the bug that means see instead of this particular person that is in this particular system um, the attacker they will send the message to all the other persons in the network instead of this particular person on this id this particular system will send the message and they will collect the uh, response also from all these things so this is called as the port scanning and now imagine this particular tool in which each bug of every service of every operating system was encoded that is all the systems which are connected in the network will come under the control of attacker okay then the tool could attempt to connect every port of one or more systems and uh, the bugs are buffer overflows okay they can easily install that is the attacker can easily install trojan horse backdoor programs and so on on all the systems which are connected in the internet right the next important one is denial of service which is otherwise called as dos okay the main aim of dos is disturbing the genuine service of our system or the genuine facility of the system and they are not uh, interested in gaining information or uh, stealing the system resources okay and this denial of service are generally a network based attack and it is impossible to prevent this denial of service attack they are uh, other two categories in this first category the attacker will utilize the system resources and finally there is no uh, useful work will be done okay uh, that is if we click any of the website that will download the java applet that is we are not actually in need of this particular java applet hence it will utilize all the cpu time and our work will be disturbed okay otherwise some pop up window will be displayed our monitor continuously infinity time the pop up window will be displayed 
so this will this disturb our normal work when come to second category it involves disturbing the network of the facility okay that is as several successful denial of service attacks in this kind of major websites okay they will continuously disturb our normal work and these attacks results from abuse of some fundamental functionality of tcp the next one is distributed denial of service attack which is otherwise called as ddos and this attack is even more difficult uh, to prevent and this is very dangerous one when compared to distributed that is denial of service okay these attacks are launched from multiple sites at one okay uh, the system which are connected to a single system that is target system from these all the connected systems will be affected by this distributed denial of service okay that is the attack will be launched at multiple sites at one towards a common target typically a zombies okay this attack have become more common and are sometimes associated with blackmail attempts okay if we pay the money for them then only they will take back this particular system otherwise the entire network will be halted up to this we have seen the system and network threats under this uh, the most common attacks are worms port scanning denial of service and distributed denial of service for more information please go through your textbook and next class we will see another important topic from 5th unit thank you